Hey guys, we are going to be talking about energy today and we're going to be reviewing how all energy comes from the sun, as you can see, my background. Um, I'm going to ask you to dig back a little bit and see if you can remember the two different ways that we talked about how energy can take form. We said that energy can be either potential or kinetic. Potential meaning stored, kinetic meaning being used. Okay, so we talked about how if you have a ball up at the top of the hill, that it has a lot of potential energy, stored energy. And then if something changes to make that ball take motion, like something pushes it or there's a gust of wind, all of a sudden it has a lot of kinetic energy as it's coming down the hill. So those are some things we talked about before we left. We did not, however, get to talk about the forms of energy. Okay, so first of all, let's remember our definition of energy. Energy is the ability to do work. We did talk about that. Um, and we're going to talk about this acronym MELTS. So this is what we're going to use to help us remember the different forms of energy. The first form of energy that we're going to talk about is mechanical. So with mechanical energy, you can see mechanics to kind of help you remember it, is it's energy that is movement energy, or it's the energy of moving parts, okay? So one example of that might be the gears of a bicycle. Another example of that might be scissors cutting, okay? Anything that's using a simple machine, anything that's using anything like that, that's gonna be mechanical energy moving parts, okay? The next one we're gonna talk about, E, I'm gonna give you a second to guess. This is a very important kind of energy that we depend on very much. That is electrical energy. And with electrical energy, we're going to be talking about the flow of electrons. So we're going to have the flow of electrons, and that's going to be flowing through a circuit. And we're going to learn about that in a couple days. So that is the flow of electrons. And you can all think of things that use electrical energy, lights, computers, whatever device you're using to watch me right now is using some kind of electric, electrical energy. For our L, we are going to have light energy, okay? Now, not to be confused with the electricity used to power a light. This is the light energy that is the actual rays of light. Very important, okay? So if you look at a light in your house, it is most likely being used with electrical energy, but light energy is the actual rays of light. So light travels in waves. And some examples of light energy could be from a flashlight. Again, not the flashlight itself that's usually powered by electricity or a battery, but the rays of light coming out of the flashlight. So if you're shining the flashlight into the night and you can see those beams of light going across, that would be light energy. The sun is our biggest producer of light energy. And that's always going to travel in waves. And we will talk a little bit about um, how does light go through objects? So if I shine something through something that is transparent, the light can travel through. If it's opaque, and we'll talk about all this later, then it's going to block the light and the light is not gonna go through. So we'll talk about all the ways that, height, that light travels. For our T, we have thermal. And that might sound familiar because thermal usually means heat. So that is heat energy. And some examples of that would be an oven or a microwave or a stove. And then our S is our last one, which is sound energy, which is caused by vibrations and it is heard. So some examples would be our voices, a musical instrument, um, anything that makes noise, okay? So those are our main different forms of energy that we're gonna be talking about between now and the end of the year. It's really important fourth grade that you guys get a handle on what these are, and it's a big, big, big fourth grade expectation that you especially understand this one. So if we were at school, we would be actually building circuits and we're gonna give you some projects that maybe if you have some stuff at home, you'll be able to do that. But we're gonna show you what that looks like and we're gonna read about it and we're gonna watch some videos about it and you're gonna learn all about different kinds of circuits. So today's task is just to be familiar with what MELTS stands for, those different forms of energy, and to complete um, some activities about that.
And then going forward, we will be talking about circuits, light energy. We'll do a little bit with sound energy, but we're really going to be focusing on these. So that's it for me for melts. Don't forget about the sun, which is where all energy originates from and which our planet would not be able to function without. So don't forget about all that stuff that we talked about before we left and go ahead and work your way down the slides and answer some of those questions. Bye guys.